Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Walbridge and I'm with Landauer. I'm gonna spend time today walking you through your Landauer radiation dosimetry report. At the top of your report, you'll see a box that shows a couple pieces of important information. First is receive date. This is the date that your dosimeters were received at Landauer. Next is reported date. This is the date that Landauer read and reported your badges. Finally, you'll see analytical work order number, or AWO. Under the title Radiation Dosimetry Report, you'll see your account number. This is the number that you'll need if you ever need to call us and reference your specific account so we can look up what you need and get you help. You'll also see your subaccount number as well as your subaccount code, which is a unique three digit or three letter identifier telling us what department you're calling about. It's also possible that you're not using a subaccount, so don't worry, you just need that account number. If you've ever worn a Landauer dosimeter at a previous account, the participant number that you have now will be different than the one that you used to have in your old Landauer account. Your radiation dosimetry report is broken into four sections, the wear period, your quarter to date dose, your year to date dose, and finally your lifetime to date dose. The wear period refers to the period in which the dosimeter was worn. A monthly wear period, for example, would be July 1st through the end of July, July 31st, or a quarterly wear period would refer to the beginning of the quarter, July 1st through the end of this quarter, September 30th. The inception date is the date Landauer began keeping dosimetry records on this specific person with this specific participant identifier in this specific account. If you've ever worn a Landauer dosimeter in a different account, your inception date will be different in that specific account than in this one. In the body of the dosimetry report, you'll see each person's name along with their individual participant number, the type of dosimeter they're wearing, as well as their assigned dose. When you view your dose on your radiation dosimetry report, you'll see a number, which is the amount of exposure you received in millirem, subtracted by the amount of dose that was calculated on your control badge. If you do not receive a dose of at least one millirem, you'll see an M reported. M stands for minimal, meaning that after the control subtraction, the resulting occupational dose was below the minimal reporting capabilities of Landauer's Luxel badge, currently one millirem. Landauer utilizes control dosimeters to measure radiation in transit as well as background radiation exposure to ensure that the dose that we're reporting on you indicates only your occupational exposure. In the event that you do not return a matching control badge to us, we'll utilize your account's average control dose history, which is an average of all of the control doses that we've read and reported for your account. It's important that you understand proper storage for your control. All control badges should be stored completely away from radiation sources. A great place to store control badges is on your badge board or somewhere at your location away from radiation sources. Under the column dosimeter, there's a two-letter code. This two-letter code indicates the type of dosimeter being worn by each participant, as well as the energy ranges that dosimeter detects. A PA badge detects X, gamma, and beta radiation and can be worn at your collar, on your chest, on your waist, on your wrist, or as a fetal badge. If you have a need to monitor for neutron exposure, the code used on your report would indicate JA for fast neutron or TA for fast and thermal neutron detection. If you're wearing a ring dosimeter, the code used is indicated with an S and that measures beta radiation. If you're monitoring any pregnant participants, you'll receive a fetal addendum with your regular radiation dosimetry report. The fetal addendum shows all of your pregnant workers, their doses, as well as the dose to the fetus. In the event that you do not have a fetal dosimeter on one of your pregnant workers, that's perfectly okay because we'll take that person's whole body dose and apply it to the dose to the fetus. The Form 5 is a record of annual dose for our participant. If you order Form 5s through Landauer, you'll receive one Form 5 per participant per subaccount. If you did receive dose in the calendar year, the doses on your Form 5 may seem lower than they do on your dosimeter reports. That's because on Form 5s, your doses are reported in REM. In order to convert from millirem to REM, you'll want to divide your doses by 1,000. If you received minimal throughout the year on your dosimetry reports, your Form 5 will show ND. That means non-detectable and means that you did not receive any detectable dose for the calendar year.